My name is Leanne Royal and today I'd like to show you how to create custom invoice numbers. First of all, I'm going to show you the screen for creating an invoice and show you what QuickBooks will do. Under the plus sign, we're going to go into Customer and click on Invoice to create an invoice. And I'm going to choose Adwin Co. as my customer. And I'll make him buy, he'll, he'll be buying, um, I don't know, he can be buying five guest books and we'll put the tax on it of 13% uh, Ontario tax because that's where I'm located. <clears throat> and I'll show you what happens when I save this invoice. I'm just going to click save here. And you'll notice there's nowhere, there's no field here where I can change the invoice number. So when I save it, okay, it automatically creates an invoice number which is 1018. Now under the scenario that um, we had our books in another accounting system and our last invoice number in that old accounting system was say 2000 was the last invoice number. So we want the next invoice number to be 2001. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Okay, we'll get out of the screen. <clears throat> We're going to go into company settings, account settings, account and settings under the gear icon. And under sales, under custom transaction numbers, custom transaction numbers, we're going to turn that on. We're going to tick in there and turn it on. Click save. And then we're going to click done. Now, the next invoice number is going to be 1019, which now we can change. So let's make a new invoice. Okay, it says invoice number 1019, but now, as you see, we have an option over here where we can change that invoice number. So I'm going to change it. First of all, I'm going to pick the customer again. We'll pick Adwin as well again. <clears throat> and I will do the same thing. We'll make uh, this guest books for two. <clears throat> for five and uh, <clears throat> put, we'll put the HST on there, there and now I'm going in my previous system my last invoice number was 2000 so I'm going to make this invoice 2001 see up here how that changes this is 2001 so we'll save it Okay, that invoice was saved. <clears throat> now we can go into Adwin's account under sales and customers just to take a look at that under his account. There you go. You can see that uh, our previous invoice was 1018 and that we just created, this is the invoice that we just created for and uh, changed the invoice numbering system to 2001. Now if you want to make an, your next invoice it will follow sequence. I'll very quickly show you that. It should be 2002. Let's make it add one again. <clears throat> Gold party level with the HST on it. There you go. You can see it's going to save it as 2002, keeping the sequence. So that's it. I hope that uh, helped you. I know that sometimes people are confused, uh, especially when they're changing systems and they want to keep the same numbering system. So that's it for today. Bye now.